OK. The next example is the one about which this picture will be useful. Let's consider the following square diagram. And that's going to be really the most challenging so far. I'm going to identify this edge with this edge, like this. So far, so good. If I identify this edge with this edge like this, we get a torus. Thank you. But I'm going to now reverse the orientation like this. What on earth is this going to become? OK. First, let's identify the easy bit, the vertical edges. Then I get this cylinder where the vertical has been identified, with the difference that the top and the bottom now have opposite circulations. Okay. And then we have to do the identification, but now, you remember before when we discussed the torus, I took this part and then stretched it and put it like that. This time, I cannot do this because if I put it like that, the circulations will be the opposite. So, I have to do something very strange. You see, if I bring it over here, like this, then it looks like the circulations are in the right direction. But then, you see, I cannot put this against this, like this. Because if I do this, I have to go through the surface. It's impossible in a three-dimensional space. But that's OK. Let's relax. It's impossible in 3D, but it's possible in higher dimensional spaces, as we shall see later in the course. So we shall cut across the surface anyway. Self-intersection. Let's say that surface is made of magic material, and I, I can walk straight through and come straight out. And then what we get is this very interesting surface, which I shall draw like this because it's impossible to draw coherently in three-dimensional space. Can you get the feeling for this surface? This surface is the famous Klein model. Felix Klein was a, a very influential German mathematician towards the end of the 19th century, and it's called the Klein bottle. In symbolic terms, this identification is very easy because you get the square, the vertical identifications as before, 0y is identified with 1y, that's OK. This time, however, x0 is identified with, what do you think it's identified with? 1 minus x, thank you, not x minus 1. The opposite of x is not x minus 1, but 1 minus x. Opposite of, because I'm measuring from 1, measuring from 0. Anyway, so this is from. So that is orientation reversing, and that's orientation preserving. And if you do that, you get the Klein model. So the result of this quotient, the quotient space of the square by those equivalence relations, or those identifications, is the Klein model. Now, this is what we call a self-intersecting picture because it cuts, the bottle cuts through its own uh, surface. But as I said, we're using magic material, so that's OK. There's so much magic in this room that I've lost the eraser. Ah, here it is, OK. Now, Things get interesting. What happens if I cut that climb of hole? In its plane of symmetry. This climb of hole. In halves. Let me draw a picture and explain. What I'm doing is like this. Again, there's uh, somebody who's about to cut. But he looks a little more worried than before, because he's cutting something that's non-orientable, it turns out. 
who's going, who can guess what's going to happen? So this is what it is. In miming, you see a torus looked like this. You take a circle and you just sweep it out like that and like that. Is that okay? Can you see, can you visualize this? That's a torus. Klein bottle is funnier. So you take a circle and you sweep out a tube, but now the tube doesn't come back from the top. It comes back from the bottom and uh, cuts across the surface and then joins up to this. So at the top, there is sort of a surface like this, yeah, rim like this. And on the outside, the tube goes down. On the inside, the surface like becomes a little narrower and then comes out and then joins to the outer surface. Can you see this? I hope you can. So that's the um, climb bottle. Now, please see the picture. on the hand. It shows on the top of the picture a climb bottle. But on lying on the side, yeah, horizontally positioned. And if you slice it through the plane of symmetry, you can open it up in two. And that's the picture that you get. And do you notice that there is a funny self-intersection? Self as the surface goes like that and then joins up, it cuts through itself. But let's not worry about this cut. Let's actually lift it. And it turns out that what you get is two copies of before we used to write a draw there. We got two copies of ordinary strips. This time you get two copies of, yes, you've guessed it, movie strips. That's right. So, if you glue two movie strips together, you get the climb bottle. If you glue two ordinary strips together, you get the torus. Let's see how that really works. We can check this statement by a new concept for us by calculating with pictures. I'm sure you have all calculated with numbers, you have calculated with formulas, but we shall now calculate with pictures. In the following Well, take this original diagram, like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Now, let's introduce a cut like this. I'm going to cut it along this curve. And then we get this picture and this picture. Agreed? So this edge must be identified with this edge at the end and this edge with this edge. But because we cut it in two, at the end we have to glue back the cut. So let's denote this cut by this and this. So those two cuts must be identified at the end. Okay? Now, this becomes very easy. I can straighten this out because we are doing topology. Everything is soft. I don't care about those two things. And then you get, wait a minute. Am I doing the right thing? I'm doing the wrong thing, am I not? Just one second. Ah. Excuse me, I, didn't, I don't want to cut it like this. I'm going to cut it in a different fashion. I, I'm terribly sorry. So I'm going to cut it because I'm cutting it like this. Sorry about this. So I have that and that. OK. So I'm going to cut it vertically because I'm cut, slicing it vertically. And I'm going to go along this cut. OK? Scissors like this. But when I arrive at this point, this point is identified with this point. So I keep going. Do you remember what we did when we cut the movie strip? It's a bit similar to this. And then when I finish cutting here, this point is the same as the initial point. So that's the cut. OK. So what happens if I do this cut? Well, this consists of two parts. The middle part is very easy. It looks like this. And 
this is like that, and this is like that. Okay? And we have to somehow identify those edges. So um, we'll worry about that later. And after for the other one, you have to have this cut and this cut. And this edge should be identified with this edge. Is that OK? Because this part should be identified with this part, and this part with this part. Is that OK? Because this should be identified with this. So I'm going to indicate this by introducing a new set of arrows, like this and like this. And on the side, there is no problem, like that, like, like that. OK, so that's the cut picture. But at the same time, if I glue these things together, let's put it over here. So this is equal to, if I identify this way with ed this way edge, you get the following picture. So this has been identified in the middle. And on this side, there's a cut. On this side, there's a cut. And then here, I have to be careful. I moved it over here. So I get a double arrow here and a single arrow here. And I move it over here. So single arrow here and double arrow here. You see that? But what is this? Look. That, if you look at this strip, I have to identify the edge, edges like this. That's a movie strip. How about this? This side should be identified with this side. Another movie strip. So we have the result that the Klein bottle A Klein bottle is obtained by by gluing together, gluing rocole, yep, glue two movie strips. along their boundary circles. Difficult to um, visualize, but let's try to draw the picture this way. That's a movie strip. Yep. Another movie strip. And we'd like to glue those two things together. Before, when we had an ordinary strip and an ordinary strip, we glued them together. We, got, we obtained the torus. That was easy to visualize. This is rather harder. But if you think differently, it's not so difficult either. Because you see, the boundary of this movie strip is just a single circle. Boundary of this movie strip is another single circle. And I'm just gluing them together. That's all I'm doing. You cannot do this without self-intersection inside a three-dimensional space. But you can do it if you use magic material. This example, the fact that movie strip, movie strip together give you a climb bottle, and climb bottle cut in half becomes two movie strips, will be useful, will be used later in the theory of surgery later. By surgery, I don't mean medical surgery, but there is some similarity. You are cutting and pasting and so forth. You are doing all sorts of violence to manifolds. OK. Good? So this is enough for today.